Hello friends, the question is like this. We have to evaluate the value of this integral e to the power of x upon 1 plus e to the power of x into 2 plus e to the power of x dx. Okay, so on observing the function which is given to us, we see that in the denominator, we have the term of e to the power of x. And in numerator, we have e to the power of x. So this uh, given integral can be uh, simplified into a very easy integral in the first step by substituting e to the power of x as equal to t right so differentiating both sides with respect to x i'm going to get e to the power of x dx is equal to dt okay so e to the power of x dx will be replaced by dt and i'm going to get in the denominator 1 plus t into 2 plus t okay after substituting if we look at the function we see that it is a typical fraction in which the denominator is in the form of linear factors so the best way to solve this is to convert this fraction into its partial fraction so we are going to resolve this fraction into its partial fraction and because both the factors are linear we are going to get the partial fraction as a upon 1 plus t plus b upon 2 plus t right Next, I'm going to take the LCM of the right hand side to obtain the left hand side as it is. Right hand side, I'm going to get a into 2 plus t plus b into 1 plus t upon 1 plus t into 2 plus t. This denominator denominator cancels out. So I'm going to get 1 is equal to a into 2 plus t plus b into 1 plus t. So this is our equation number 1. From this equation, we are going to solve the value of a and b to obtain or to finally resolve the fraction into its partial fraction okay because half the work we have done we have to just calculate the value of a and b okay now to solve the value of a and b what i'm going to do i'm going to place 1 plus t as equal to 0 or t is equal to minus 1 in equation number 1 okay so always make a point if you have to calculate the value of a then place the linear factor in the denominator as equal to 0 the value which you are going to get would be substituted in this equation number one to obtain the value of a so i'm going to get one is equal to a times two plus minus one plus b times one plus minus one so this is going to become zero so i'm going to get a is equal to one similarly placing two plus t is equal to zero or t is equal to minus two in this equation i'm going to get one is equal to a times two plus minus two plus b times 1 plus minus 2 okay so this term is going to cancel out or it is going to become 0 or this is going to give us minus b okay so I'm going to get b is equal to minus 1 so the partial fraction of this fraction would be equal to 1 upon 1 plus t minus 1 upon 2 plus t okay so we have started with this integral we have substituted e to the power of x equal to t on substitution we obtain the integral in this form and because the partial fraction of this fraction i equal to this much so this integral is equal to the integration of 1 upon 1 plus t dt minus 1 upon 2 plus t dt so these are very simple values to be integrated because we know that integration of 1 upon x is equal to log x so integration of 1 upon 1 plus t would be equal to log of 1 plus t and similarly the integration of 1 upon 2 plus t would be equal to log of 2 plus t okay so i'm going to get here log of 1 plus t minus log of 2 plus t okay plus the integral constant c applying the property of logarithms that is log m minus log n we can write this is equal to log m upon n that is 1 plus t upon 2 plus t plus c now we have started the integral to be integrated in terms of x so further we are going to replace the value of t as equal to e to the power of x to obtain the final answer so this will be equal to log of 1 plus e to the power of x upon 2 plus e to the power of x plus c so this will be our required answer Friends, thanks for watching my video. To watch more of these super videos and for the latest updates, subscribe and like the videos on these channels on YouTube, HSK Shiksha 
एंड मैथ हेल्प बाय एच एस के थैंक यू